Hello and welcome back to our Revved Up series. Here on another day, another task, another plan. Basically, today what the goal is to build up some more cash and try to upgrade our workshop. Do our first upgrade. So let's see, get some well paying jobs and upgrade our workshop yeah nice Porsche I want that okay get another one ah yes Pagani we will do this as well what else do we have here oh, mm, uh, mm, I don't even know do I want this I need the money what the hell so we're gonna have a long day we're gonna have to make a lot of money today Let's start with this piece of junk. Bring it in quickly. Fix it. Today we're gonna speed through the jobs and we're gonna do our best to finish very fast. We don't care about leveling up. We only care about credit. We only care about the hard earned cash, the dollars. If we check our map, anyway, we will see that now the junkyard is available on our map. This wasn't available until we leveled up to level six, I guess, and or, or five, well, anyway. And here, actually, we can use the maps what we find in the boxes, in the crates. So let's check our car quickly. Part not discovered. Okay, suspension rattling. Okay, let's just throw it up in the air, get underneath and check what's wrong with it. Uh -huh. Do a quick visual inspection. There's a shock absorber needs replacing, that's for sure. And there's uh, another one, a tie rod end, outer tie rod, whatever you want to call it. We're going to run a quick inspection on the vehicle. Let's just focus on the suspension first. And see if it will show us what we already saw ourselves we need to find two parts we know from the list we don't know what they are so i would say it's gonna be one shock absorber on this side it's not gonna show it on the test because for that we would need a suspension test bench basically test lane and there's the tie rod end outer tie rod is marked with red so I guess that is okay oh sorry I don't need that so let's start stripping I'm pretty confident that we know what we need here uh, so not that one this one yes and not discovered okay let's just remove the wheels and we will discover it in a second we're not gonna waste time with doing too many tests. We have to think and we have to work fast as we need the cash and we wanna upgrade the workshop. So today we're gonna strip the suspension parts, front shock absorber, remove it, we're gonna strip it and you're gonna see that that's our second part. Okay, we don't know that yet because it's not stripped. We will take it to our suspension tool, a spring compression tool, and we're gonna strip it with that. But first, let's remove the other side as well to have everything we need. How do we get to this conclusion? Well, we know that it's something on the suspension, knocks and rattle and unstable, that is what? Well, if it's not stable, if it's wobbly on the road or anything, then probably something to do with bushings or the steering part, ball joints or anything like that. Now, let's just strip our front suspension part.
and there you go that's one part that's another part let's check our list did we find what we were looking for oh, of course we did so a quick part shop that's from Previce car uh, we need this one and another one of these let's quickly reassemble and get rid of this car there we go okay get back to our vehicle and start assembling there we go okay and another one and the front end links drop links And finally the wheel. And one side ready. Let's go and finish the other side. Assemble. And there we go. There's the new part. There's the wheel. Thank you very much, and ready to go. So, took this on, didn't really like the car, but it's just an easy, quick job, so why not? Okay, everything fixed. And there we go. So, let's get the next one in. What's with this shitty Porsche? Okay, okay, and okay, don't know anything. Well, we have to do a lot of diagnostics lately. We're always getting the good jobs. Water pump, pulleys, bad tensioner, okay, and knocking sound from suspension. Let's do this fancy car first. It gives us a good feeling working on a nice car instead of all the crap what we can get lately. So, first we need to do the engine bits. Oh, come on, seriously. What kind of access do we have here? Pretty bad. And that's okay. So, what do we need here? Pay attention, our timing chain, timing gear, water pump, water pump pulley, and another water pump pulley. Hmm, how many water pumps does this one have? Okay, well, I did fix a good few cars in my life, but not Pagani. Oh, okay. I kind of understand what's going on here. Fancy. Never seen this before. So, let's start stripping. There's our tensioner, one part what we need to replace. Okay, there's a pulley. remove that quickly let's remove the other one a real strange double water pump mm -hmm. that's gonna be like two water pumps in one but oh hold on I almost did it let's get back to our cooling system if we don't drain the coolant it will cost some serious money because we're gonna spill it on the ground and it's gonna charge us for cleaning of course it's our workshop but it doesn't allow us to make a mess of it spill the oil or spill the coolant and it will charge you like 50 or 100 dollars just to clean it okay now we can go back to stripping you know and you remove the water pump a whole lot of the coolant what's in the engine is gonna just leak out well, yes, now I want to fix a good few cars in a single day. I need to make a big bunch of cash. I want to do a serious upgrade to the workshop, first bigger one. And I just don't want to wait any longer for that. So, what have we got here? 
water pump to police pay attention or timing chain and timing gear okay let's get back to the front end of the engine and see how does the timing look on this let's take off the cover rusty bolt I guess it will require a good bit of stripping but what choice do we have first and which gear ah this one yes of course okay oh. to remove everything from the top okay let's start seriously oh god How does this come off? What is in the way? Okay, the two top covers. Oh, how many spark plugs it has? Double for each cylinder. Nice. Okay, so remove the rocker cover or engine cover, whatever you want to call it. What is it called in the game here? Uh, we will check as soon as it's off. Nice V12 engine. Of course, it's not easy to work on it. It requires a lot of work just to anything of it uh, don't tell me that okay, and there's another one rusty bolts but we will fight them. Not gonna leave them there. They're not gonna trick us. Hopefully nothing. Oh, there we go. We can remove the chain now. Super. So let's just get our parts. There's the chain. There's our gear. A water pump, two pulleys. Belt tensioner. So okay. I guess that's our shopping list there. So let's go quickly to buy our parts. Ooh, pricey. Well, of course, expensive car, expensive parts. You wanna have a fancy car? Well, make sure you can afford it. It's not just about buying the car, it's about maintenance. 
you know, some people make the mistake to buy the cars. They buy a very fancy car on their last penny and then they cannot afford even to fuel it. But if we just want to fix it, it's good because expensive car, expensive fix. So we're gonna make sure that we're getting paid for the job as well. Of course, unfortunately in this simulation we are not setting the prices, but still, we can still get a good buck for the job. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. I need to do a lot of jobs today. I want to make sure that I can do an upgrade. I need 10,000 plus because 10,000 will cost to get the extra workshop or at least workshop area, another room. And of course I cannot spend my last penny on it as I need some cash for the next jobs for parts. And if we finish the engine part, we still have a suspension knock on this uh, car. Now, when you do uh, an engine cover like this, you should always start somewhere in the center and then work your way out towards the ends. That way it will nicely stretch out the gasket, but it's not visible in this simulation. And also, the engine cover doesn't get warped or anything. Yeah, let's do it professionally from the middle going out. Okay, and you go one side to the other and one end to the other. Coil pack, oh, that I guess will cost a fortune if once we need to replace it the other side as well. And now the intercooler set, a huge one. Okay, I'm not gonna jump from side to side. Let's just spin in the bolts and get it done. Okay. And the last piece is covers. And let's see, list. Okay, already. Part not discovered. Knocking sound coming from suspension. Let's see, what do we have there? A bushing maybe? No, not that one. That's just a rusty bolt. Suspension knock. Okay. And again. We don't know if it's front or back, so it just makes it a little bit harder. Let's just walk over to the front quickly. And let's just... Ah, there it is, you see? Okay, a nice knock, it other side looks good. Okay, our sway bar front end link B. Never called it that way. It's a drop link, that's it, full stop. Okay, let's buy that one. Okay, assemble mode. And here we go. So, were we right on this or were we right on this? Yes, of course. Okay, oh, nice, big buck. Here we go. Ah, what did I not finish? What did it say? 
Oh, of course I forgot to refill it with coolant. Oh my god. I'm in such a rush. That's why you should take your time and fix. Sometimes it's just not possible. Because you have a lot of customers, if you're lucky. And a lot of jobs and not enough time, usually. It's always the case. So, you get into the habit of rushing things and forgetting things. So, is it ready? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, now we have uh, the upgrade, but we're gonna finish the last car as well. This one has a lot more to check on it and to diagnose because it has a list which says basically nothing. But it's okay, let's just see. Uh, again, the wrong button. What is this? Okay, we will do that once next. This one we need. So, fix uh, running gear problems. Okay, inner tie rod, one part we know, and nothing else. Brake system and everything. Uh, whatever. Let's run a full checkup. Well, obviously just by looking at it you can say that it's not in a great condition, but it's okay. Not our problem. We will fix what we can and we're just gonna leave the rest. Okay, I guess we're gonna have a steering rack problem here. Or actually... No, not a steering rack. Sway bar, what's so red? Ah, it's just a reflection from the subframe. Okay, whatever. Okay, nice air cooled boxer engine. It's not a recent one, definitely, it's quite an old one, but a fancy one. So, anybody who will find the engine coolant in this one, I will buy him one of these cars. You can put it down in the comment, where do you change the engine coolant? Oh, and of course, make sure you sign up to our channel. Okay, so it's in pretty bad shape anyway, but we don't care about that just now. It gives us a few experience points. Use it to our advantage to level up whenever possible and fast. I guess since this car has a lot of repairs as well, we're gonna have some spare cash to be able to upgrade and save some as well. Okay, so I guess this is it. So let's see, what did we discover? Nothing. Fantastic. Okay. So then let's get into visual checks. Okay, there we go. What percentage do we? 42. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have a shock absorber there. Some brake disc possibly. Yeah, bushings look okay. Maybe one starting to. Okay, there we have a caliper. Needs replacing. Okay, here, what do we have here? Brake pads, worn, shock absorber. Possibly a shock absorber cap, maybe. Uh, 
Another break caliper. Okay. Oh, break disc, definitely. Terrible. Okay, let's start by removing wheels. Okay, that's our first part here. Okay. Brake pads are okay. They're gonna stay. This is for the bin. This side it's definitely better than 42%. So we're just gonna leave it. Instead, we're gonna go to this side. Let's see. So we should have two parts out of I don't know how many on the brakes. And there will be our third one, the pads. Exactly. And let's remove this one as well. And we're gonna have to replace the tie rod as well. That is too bad. 10% of course. So what did we discover? Double wishbone shock absorber. Yes. Inner tie rod. Caliper disc pad, exactly how I thought. Great, let's go to the back. Oh, there we are. Okay, what is going on here? Uh, not much. I don't think we need to replace anything here on this side. Let's check the other one. Okay, there we have a caliper, that's for sure. Should be okay. 52, that's okay. Let's just remove this for a second. 46, that's still okay. Okay, where are we? Mm -hmm. What about this disc? I think it will still be okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, pads. Okay, disc. Also, okay. Hmm. So then what? Inner tie rod. Okay, and we still have one part on the brakes. Hold on. Let's just check something quickly. Where is our ABS? There it is. Ha! Bingo. ABS module. It's for the bin. Twenty four percent, of course. And I will go for this. No, hold on, where was the other side cap? Let's just remove this for a second. Uh -huh. And this forty three still above threshold everything is brand new 
almost. So brake system, we have everything. Inner tie rod we have, <coughs> front spring, double wishbone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where was this not so good looking bushing? This one. Let's just try this. Mm, it's good that we can wind it into the engine. In reality it would be quite tight. 45, that's not it. Yeah, that's the hardest part. That's why on our second major upgrade we're gonna get some test equipment, like a whole test lane for suspension. It will make these findings a lot more easier. This one, it's okay, I bet on it. So, where are we? Okay, let's just strip what we have and then we will see. Where are we going there? This was okay. This is still okay. Hmm. That's the front one, which was not okay. Of course, spring it's for the bin. And here the shock absorber is for the bin. Exactly. Okay. Then what? So we have everything except one piece of running gear equipment. Spring and wishbone shock absorber, it's okay, so like shock absorber. We still have one part not found on the running gear. Why? And what is that? Anybody help? What am I missing here? I'm gonna try this one. Okay, you have to remove the droplings. Ah, come on, seriously, from underneath the car. Okay, let's just lift the vehicle. Don't really like this. Which side was it? Yeah, this one. Mm, that ball joint looks pretty bad, but I don't think it is that bad. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Starts to be annoying. And you know what? Funny thing is that in real life you get the exact same thing. You have a car, customer is telling you that there's something wrong. Ah, bingo, there we go. And you just cannot find it. You just go around and around and you go crazy and you don't see it, don't find it. Sometimes the problem is so small that visually you cannot really find it. And there we are, perfect. Now, we can go shopping there. So, you just cannot find the problem. And whatever you want to do, it's 
just not good enough. Sometimes you will not even find a problem. Other times you will. Hard, but eventually. What else was there? That's kind of everything. Let's open this case. What are we getting here? Some like big amount of cash, 10,000 eh, XP. That's okay. That's also okay. Okay, so go shopping. Let's go to the supermarket. To the plaza. We had some faulty calipers as well, didn't we? Yes, we did. Only one? Okay. So then, let's go back and buy the caliper. And now go to the electronics shop and buy the ABS module for a freaking fortune. Okay, let's reassemble the suspension, the shock absorbers and the springs. Boom. One, let's put a not so good one on it because we're gonna have too much of an imbalance. Shock absorbers should be changed in pairs not in a game but in real life anyhow yeah that will do and i guess that's all we have no removed all of them okay that's fine Now, assembly time. Okay, jump on the suspension, start fitting. Take some new brake pads and new caliper. No, we're 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 yes, we are. We're gonna put on the wheels as well. Oh, hold on! I always screw myself with this front and back, different size. Two six five, two thirty five. Oh, how much I knew it that I almost screwed up this as well. Okay, there we go, last car on the day, but at least it will pay for our upgrade. You know, sometimes you have to go the extra mile too. make things happen but in the long run it will worth it just make sure you live a life as well outside the work in real life in game well you can play as long as you want you can live in the game if game is your life then live your life live the game but if you work then yes go and work and you have to push it and sometimes you push it even more and work hard but sometimes don't forget to stop learn to say no sometimes you must ok 
Okay, do we have the front end ready? I guess yes. Okay, let's jump to the back. And there we go. Hmm. That is really going through the engine. How easy is it to fix a car in a simulation? In real life, that would be a pain in the hole. I don't even know how could you take it out. Well, it probably would be different, or you would have to remove like the engine cover or something. But it's okay. It gives us an idea how it should work and how it can work. It's not like a hundred percent accurate, but it's it's very very good already. Okay. Now we only have rear wheels left, so we're not gonna mix them up anymore. New Titan wheels. Always try to do them one after the other on the opposite side. What have we got here? A shock absorber and brake system. Okay, there we go. Pads. Caliper. Oh, hold on. No, no, get off of here. We should have buy two calipers, but we only bought one. Let's run back to the shop quickly. Because otherwise it's not gonna work out for us. Okay. Now it's okay. As soon as we do our first upgrade, that will be exactly tomorrow. I mean, in our next episode, we do it like virtually day by day. Then you see across, across, opposite, opposite wheel bolt. So as soon as we do our upgrade, we should be able to fix our parts calipers reconditioned without a problem there also the ABS so we're saving serious dollars but I would say even hundreds of dollars on some parts ABS module okay that's in the front we're just gonna finish quickly with that and there we go the whole lot is finished with this Okay, and that's it. All done. 25% extra bonus. And there we go. Thank you. Okay, well, we're not gonna have much left after the upgrade, but we will live with that. We're gonna be careful when we take on a job. So, thanks for your attention and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.